The semester is over for a lot of students, but they will never forget a year full of racial unrest. Many kids marched in protests against racial inequality, so teachers had to tackle this topic in class. We have Katie Hostman. She is the director of products for BookSource. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Kim. Well, exactly how did BookSource help educate kids about racism, but help keep them calm about the protests? Absolutely. So at BookSource, we offer um, classroom libraries. So we sell real books, not textbooks, same books you would find in um, a bookstore, to schools. And one of the initiatives we've spent just a considerable amount of effort on in the past uh, years, and especially this year, is having diverse titles and making sure that students can see their own experiences and see their own um, just reflections of themselves in books, but also learn about other experiences and, and create that empathy and compassion. I love what you said about real books and not textbooks. I feel like the real books can really get that message across. But how can a school analyze their library for diversity in their offerings? So that's a really difficult task. It takes a lot of work to go through all your books. And at BookSource, we developed a web-based program called BookSource Classroom. It's a free website where teachers can go in and upload their books, upload their students. And the purpose is for students to check in and out books. But we also offer a feature called Library Lens. And it is totally free, and it saves teachers so much time. It gives teachers ability to see those diversity categories on their book everything from diverse protagonists or characters to things like financial hardship, gender roles, um, LGBTQ categories. So we really offer a way with our data that we add to these titles for teachers to see what's in those books. Well, when we were setting this up, you shared with us the term incidental diversity. What is that? So incidental diversity is when books show um, just main storylines. It's not an issue book. It's not about overcoming obstacles. It's not about diversity being something that is um, an obstacle. It's, it's everyday life. So it's making sure that these characters are having fantasy uh, interactions or having solving mysteries, but also just an inclusive cast of characters where we might learn a little bit about traditions or experiences outside of our own. All right. We are just about out of time, but uh, you guys have to go ahead and check out these books on bookstore.com. Mm -hmm. We will have a link on fox2now.com. Katie Hostman, thank you so much. We really appreciate this. Thank you, Kim.